welcome. Today we are going to talk about how to download Inkscape and open up your first pattern in Inkscape. I'm going to go over the very basics, starting with downloading. But first, let's talk about why use Inkscape for projector sewing. Inkscape allows for digital pattern alterations to patterns. When you move to the digital form of not using paper patterns anymore, you may be wondering how do you make pattern alterations? Well, one way that we do that now is digital pattern alterations using a vector program. And one that is free is Inkscape. Other programs, if you have access to them, you're more than absolutely welcome to use. Some of the popular ones include Adobe Illustrator and Affinity Designer. Inkscape recently updated to version 1.3, which now will import layers. It will not export layers as a PDF, but you can also save as an SVG. You can also project patterns directly from Inkscape. And Inkscape is available on Windows 8.1 or higher, Mac, and the Linux systems. Hello and welcome today. I'm going to be talking about how to download the program Inkscape for digital pattern alterations today. And we'll also be opening up a pattern in Inkscape. You can download Inkscape. It is a free program. You just go to inkscape.org. And we're going to go down to download now. And you might be redirected to the best download that's available for you. I've already downloaded it and it does read this one as it. If it doesn't, I'm just going to go ahead. Okay. If it does not give you the automatic one that is right for your system, you may need to choose it. There are, it is available on Linux, Windows, and Mac operating systems. So you'll choose the one that is right for you. If you are on Windows, you need to know if you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit. You can do that by going to either pressing the Windows key and the S to pull up a search bar or go to where it says your search. And you're going to type in system information. Once you've typed in your system information, you're going to go down to where it says system type. And that will tell you if it's a times 64 or a times 32 and you'll choose the architecture that is right for you. And once you click on that, you need to choose if it you want the .exe format or the Windows installer package. Either one will work just fine. If you're new to this, go ahead and use the Windows installer package and then we'll walk you through downloading that step by step. Once you click on that, it will go to your downloaders, downloads folder and you may need to click on it there to install it. The installer package should start right away. Let's go back and let's look at the Mac versions. Okay, if you are on a Mac, you need to know if you have the Intel chip or the M1 chip in your computer and then click on the one that is right for you and it will go to your downloads folder so you can check there. All right, once you click on the download, the download will start. It will go into your downloads folder. You should see it downloading and you can click open from there. Otherwise go to your downloads folder. If it doesn't say open file, you can always go to your downloads folder and cl click on it and it will start the wizard. You just click install. We're gonna leave the same defaults. So no need to change in the defaults. The defaults um, are great for sewing, so just leave them there and push next all right and then it once you're ready to install you just click install and then wait while it does install and if you use the windows installer package it will go ahead and make a shortcut on your desktop and everything for you i'm just going to grab that shortcut and move it over here and when you're ready, just double click on it and it will open up Inkscape. It will take a little second to open it up. It is working on it and opening it. Once you've opened up Inkscape, you're ready to open up a pattern. You'll have a page like this. And each time you open up a new pattern, it will open up a new window. We're just going to go to File, Open. The shortcut is Control-O. 
And then you're gonna go to your computer. I like to save all my patterns on my Google Drive, but you can also save them directly to your computer. I do recommend cloud storage of some type, at least as a backup of your patterns, but I keep mine on Google Drive and then I've connected it onto my computer. All right, I've just selected a random file. And what we're going to do when you come in here and you open up a file, um, I don't I don't clip it at all. I usually put none. And then where it says draw missing fonts, I say substitute missing fonts. That's the way if it doesn't recognize any fonts, it will just put in a another font. It usually does take a little bit once it is opening. If it's a large file, it will take a while to open. If it's a smaller file, it should open pretty fast. Now, if you are coming to an, a file and it's really large, I'm just going to select another one really fast. And it's really large. You can use this Cairo import and it might help it import a little bit faster. But most of the time, just this internal import works just fine. When you've opened up your pattern, you should see all the layers. This is a new feature of Inkscape version 1.3 that it does import all of the layers. And that should be in your layers tab over here. And you can turn those on and off using the eyes. And those will turn on and off each of those layers. So you can see that turned off the grid. And in a future video, I am going to go over the layout and the tools. So make sure you subscribe so you can follow along with that and get your Inkscape up and ready. But now you know how to download and get a pattern open. Thank you for joining me today.